Layers and layers of aromatic spice from the fennel, the citron peppercorns and the chilli powder. These spicy mashed potatoes are the best you've ever tasted. Yunnan's or Yunnan's Old Grandma's Spicy Mashed Potatoes. Welcome back to Wok Wednesday and it really is a Wok Wednesday because we're going to steam the potatoes in the wok and then we're going to stir fry them into a nice so dry spice mix and top it with loads of chilli oil. What's not to love? The potatoes, a couple of big white potatoes are fine. And actually I find when you steam potatoes, they kind of hold their texture better even when you mash them. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but okay. It that, does work. That makes no sense. Does it make sense? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, no, they do. They do. <laughs> Texture when you you mash them. Wait, this is weird. <laughs> Let me try and explain that. Steaming, weirdly, I consider a quite, a more, almost dry way of cooking, even though you're using moisture. And it essentially is more like a seal. So you get an immediate seal from hot steam. Much like when you walk into a steam room. So you imagine yourself sitting in the steam room when you come out, your skin's all dry. So if I was to boil this potato, it would be surrounded in the boiling water and that boiling water would break down the, 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 sort of the, 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 the outside of the potato first. When you steam it, what you get is an immediate seal around the outside and then it slowly cooks through and the steam from the potato itself cooks the potato through. So it will hold its shape, it will look like it hasn't really done anything. And then when I come to mash it, of course, it'll be mashed potato. But <laughs> what I'm trying to explain is that I want it to be a rough mash because I'm going to be mashing it while stir frying it. And I want the pieces of potatoes to still be relatively dry in comparison to boiling. Now you've had my potato chat my steamy potato chat. Just roughly chop it up. <laughs> These can go straight into the steam basket and it will take about 15 to 20 minutes on a high steam to steam and keep those potatoes still intact as explained. Whilst your potatoes are steaming away and having a nice steam bath, uh, you can get the rest of your stuff chopped up really easy from here. Got a couple of cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Some spring onion. I'm going to use the green sort of rings of spring onion for garnish and then the rest of it I'll put at the beginning of my wok clock to actually add flavour to the oil. Red chilli, just roughly chopped. Add a bit of colour and a little bit of sweetness. And then I've got this fennel here, because I've got my dry spices that I'm going to go through in a bit, and I'm using fennel seeds, and the fennel really sort of gives it a nice earthy, aromatic flavour. And this is all going to be sort of quite roughly chopped up. But I don't mind it a little bit chunky either because it adds texture to the dish. And Yunnan is a region of China that is made up with lo of lots of different ethnic minorities and the different groups of people and communities cook completely different meals and dishes. Quite a lot of the food is quite rustic like this which is what I love about it. This crazy looking vegetable here is a pickled or fermented mustard green and it will work really well with the flavor that you get from the fennel, but also the fennel seeds, the citron peppercorns. It's kind of like this salted, similar sort of flavor to gherkin, just maybe slightly saltier. And if you can't find this, which you you, can't, you should be able to find in Asian supermarkets, but if you can't find it, 
then you could swap it out with gherkins or any other sort of pickle. Again, quite rough and ready. So my lovely rustic wok clock is ready. I've got my garlic and spring onions, my chilli, my fennel, my pickled veg, and then some more spring onion. All I have to do is set up my little bit of spice. So I've got some Sichuan peppercorns here that have this lovely, almost citrusy, tingling, numbing feeling when you bite into them. And then I've got some fennel seeds, which I'm gonna mix together in a second, but I'm gonna crush these Sichuan peppercorns a bit first. You do wanna open up these Sichuan peppercorns, but for a dish like this, you don't, I don't like it too powdery. I still want a little bit of crunch from the shells. The fennel seeds I'll keep whole. I've got some chili powder here. I'll probably only use about half a teaspoon, but I'll use that as I'm cooking. I'm gonna check my potatoes. If you can push your fork through, they're done. Now I quite like to just dry the potatoes out a little before I stir fry them. You could just let them cool and that automatically dry them out anyway. Smoking hot oil and I've got a fair bit of oil in here and then your garlic and spring onion can go in. One quick stir fry and then follow around your wok clock. At this point my spices can start to come in. So I've got my fennel seeds and my Sichuan peppercorns. And you're really sort of flavoring the base oil before you then bring in the potatoes and the rest of the veg. My fennel. My chili powder, as much or as little as you want. I've got about just over half a teaspoon there. And the only reason why I put it in later than the other spices is because it's powder, it can catch quite quickly. Mustard greens. And you allow that heat to build up again before you add your potatoes. Now my potatoes can go in. And now I'm gonna to start to mash these up roughly. I quite like them to stay a little chunky and hold that steamed texture that I banged on about. A good amount of salt, I'm gonna season this well. And these are starchy potatoes. You don't want them to stick, so you might need to add a little bit of oil as you go. The best thing to do is on a high heat, keep it on a high heat, but then swirl your oil around the edge so it sips underneath and then just keep moving those potatoes around. And as I explained in such detail, these potatoes are mashed, but still have bite. Last bit of spring onion, just to garnish. Now that is a whole heap of potato. Either chil chow chili oil or lao gan ma. Chili oil works a treat on top of this. I like it super spicy. Yunnan, or Yunnan's, spiced potato. That is brilliant. If you want to learn more interesting dishes like this, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, ding, hit the notification bell. We'll see you. See you.